And John Henry of Kilmarnock has also managed a double. Kilmarnock 5-1 up in Wraith Rovers and Paul Wright has got two as well. Let's reiterate the latest in the uh, Premier then. Aberdeen 1, Hibs 2, Hearts 3, Partick Thistle 0, Kilmarnock 5, Wraith Rovers 1, Motherwell Liverpool after 10. But it finishes Newcastle 2, Liverpool 1. And Janinho made his debut for Middlesbrough this afternoon. That one finished all square at the Riverside Stadium. Middlesbrough 1, Leeds 1, Yana. Confirmation 2 of the final result from Rugby Park. And what a boost that is to Kilmarnock. A 5-1 victory over the heroes uh, from Munich in midweek, Ray Throvers. Colin Cameron got their goal, but John Henry got 2, Paul Wright got 2, and Tom Brown got 1 in Kilmarnock's biggest win of the season. Killy 5, Wraith 1. For you, the only Premier Division uh, story we haven't yet heard is the day's biggest win, Kilmarnock against Wraith Rovers at Rugby Park. Alistair Manning. Tom Brown's superb solo effort in 62 minutes to put Killy 4-1 up simply confirmed the superiority that they enjoyed throughout the game. Then it was a case of doubles all round. John Henry struck first in eight minutes when he beat Thompson from an acute angle. It was Henry again in the 42nd minute when he netted at the second attempt from a Thompson save. One minute after the break, Wraith got one back when Colin Cameron slotted home after some good work by Dare. Then it was over to Paul Wright with his double, the first in 54 minutes when he pounced on the rebound from a Henry shot, the second 14 minutes later when he took an advantage of a mix-up between Thompson and substitute Ian McMillan, both missed the ball leaving Wright the simplest of tasks to score. Kilmarnock lost goalkeeper Lekovic who was red carded for a handling outside the box, Fullback Gus McPherson took over and was a hero with five top class saves in the closing minutes. Final score from Rugby Park, Kilmarnock 5, Wraith Rovers 1. And that's Kilmarnock's biggest win for two and a half years since they beat Clyde Bank in the First Division back in April of 1993. Tables tonight, then in the Premier, it's as you were at the top. The top four remain in the same positions, but Aberdeen, of course, lose ground after their defeat by Hibbs at Pataudry. Victories, too, for Rangers and Celtic, both by two goals to nil. But at the bottom, Falkirk are there on their own now. Kilmarnock moving up to sixth place after that 5-1 win over Wraith Rovers. And Killy go mad against Wraith Rovers in a six-goal thriller. Some game this at Rugby Park, nine minutes on the clock and John Henry put Kilmarnock one up in Rovers. The perfect start. Alex Totten's men are playing with more confidence these days and they're being rewarded with the breaks. Paul Wright picked out Gus McPherson on the charge. He put Henry in again. Thompson saved his first effort but he got in quicker than Sean Dennis to score his and Killy's second. Henry and Kilmarnock going well. Rovers regrouped at half-time and they came out fighting. A quick goal and they were back in this match. Dare was given time to turn inside the box. He slipped it to Cameron and the Fifers were back in contention. But just minutes later, Killy went 3-1 up. Mitchell on the charge this time. McPherson's deep cross headed back in by Brown. A scramble as Coyle's blocking header fell into Wright's path and another for Killy. Just after that, Brown raced away to make it 4-1. Rovers were falling apart. Kilmarnock were waltzing through the Rovers' defence now. Brown away down the right. Substitute McMillan and keeper Thompson presented right with the simplest goal he'll score all season. 5-1 Killy. But even at that, the rugby park drama wasn't over yet. Watch out for Dare on the run. Killy keeper Lekovic handled way outside his box. He knew straight away what the consequences of that would be. Off. Gus McPherson said, give the gloves to me. And he did not badly. Not badly at all. Even time for a smile. And why not? His side won 5-1. Well, Wraith Rovers were exempted from the strong criticism that followed another dark week in Europe for Scottish clubs. The same can't be said of Rangers, who came under heavy fire after a second crushing defeat by Juventus. Rangers against Falkirk coming up after Kilmarnock's clash with Wraith Rovers at Rugby Park. Kilmarnock produced their best form of the season to catch Wraith with a European hangover. The fans had to wait just eight minutes to see Killy take the lead.
Gus McPherson had slid a through ball to John Henry, who had only keeper Scott Thompson to beat. Three minutes before half-time, Kilmarnock increased the lead after the same players combined. McPherson again put Henry clear. His first shot was well saved, but Thompson could do nothing with the second. The second half offered fresh hope to Wraith as they pulled one back almost from the kickoff. The Kirkcaldy side showed some of the ability demonstrated against Bayern in setting up Colin Cameron, who split open the Kilmarnock defence. But Kelly went too clear again in 53 minutes as Paul Wright knocked the ball home. Tom Brown nodded Ali Mitchell's cross to Henry. The shot was blocked, but Wright tidied up. On the hour mark, Kilmarnock put the result beyond all doubt with a goal from Tom Brown. Robert Connor set the Scotland B internationalist clear for Killy's fourth of the afternoon. The route was completed seven minutes later after a good piece of running, but a dreadful show of defending. Keeper Scott Thompson was taken out accidentally by substitute Ian McMillan, leaving Wright clear to score. Then, with a rush of blood to the head, Komarna keeper Drago Lekovic was sent off for handball outside the box, leaving Gus McPherson as deputy. Final score, 5-1.